What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're looking at the speed test between the legendary Galaxy Note 9 and the new legend incoming potential champ, the iPhone 10s Max. Now this Note 9 features the Snapdragon 845 processor with the Adreno 630 GPU with 8 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Now there is a version of the Galaxy Note 9 that comes with the Exynos processor which has a better overall Geekbench score. But for everyone that's in the US like me, these are the two phones that need to be compared. And then we have the iPhone 10s Max which features the A12 Bionic chip which is just a freaking powerhouse in both synthetic benchmarks and in real life test so far. This is going to be my test comparing the Snapdragon 845 in the Galaxy Note 9 versus the A12 Bionic. We're doing five daily use apps that I use on a daily basis and then we're also going to test five of my favorite games and see how long it takes for them to load in. And then we're going to add up the total time for all 10 of these apps as well as compare Geekbench scores. Without further ado, let's hop right into this speed test. Okay, so we're restarting both of these phones to make sure that they have fresh memory with no apps open. Here we go. We're going to start by opening up YouTube. Really close, but definitely the Note 9 was a hair ahead. Instagram. Really close once again, Note 9 again edging out. Twitter. Note 9 open once again. Now we're going to go ahead and open Netflix. Note 9 once again. And now for my fitness pal. Really close, barely a microsecond ahead for the Note 9 though. Go ahead and open up Fortnite. Now we did five regular apps. We're gonna have to see how these gaming apps handle. This is where I believe the iPhone 10 will get an advantage. We'll have to see. The A12 Bionic should be a lot better pulling up 3D resources and is just a much more powerful GPU in general. So it's going to be able to load into the game a lot quicker. We've been in the game now for a number of seconds. This is a huge victory for the iPhone. Not even close. Okay, there you go. Massive victory for the iPhone in that case. Here we go, loading PUBG Mobile. Looks like the iPhone is winning so far. The iPhone is in. The iPhone was fully loaded in before the Note 9 was even past the intro screen. <laughs> and there it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test, see which one loads up Hearthstone faster. Nice. Go to uh, Vain Glory now. In three, two, one. Mm, the Note 9 actually won the menu load up this time. It's the first game it's won so far. Now we're going to load up Modern Combat Versus. Once again, the iPhone wins the 3D assets loading competition. Jeez. And there it is. 
Last but not least, Geekbench 4. Let's go ahead and run this in three, two, one. Looks like the iPhone 10 finished first with a score of 4,769 for single core and an 11,323 multi-core score. That is really, really good. Well, there you go. Those scores are right in line with where these phones should be at for their Geekbench scores. Now, after all of these tests, which of these devices still have their apps in memory? Let's go ahead and go back through Modern Combat Versus. Looks like they both are still in memory for Modern Combat Versus. That's fantastic. Vain Glory. We're still in memory. Regardless with Hearthstone, you have to load in every single time. You cannot maintain memory with Hearthstone, so Hearthstone is discarded anyway. PUBG Mobile. Looks like we're still in memory for both of those. Fortnite. We're still in memory for the iPhone XS, but we are not in the memory still for the Note 9, which doesn't make any sense at all because the Note 9 has so much more memory. This has eight gigs of memory. This is the 512 gig version of the Note 9. Let's check my fitness pal. That's still open. My guess is the video RAM ran out running these four high performance 3D titles and it had to remove Fortnite from running in the background. I don't know. It's really weird. Netflix is still up for both of them. Twitter is still up for both of them. Instagram is still up for both of them. And YouTube is still up for both of them. Okay, so there's the test. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. For the first five daily use apps, the Note 9 really excelled here. It opened every single app faster than the iPhone XS Max. Now the XS Max wasn't far behind in these daily use apps, usually trailing by about a second to a second and a half, depending on the app. But when it came down to the 3D app load times, not only did the iPhone XS Max make up the time it lost in the daily use apps, but it far exceeded the Note 9 with these heavy 3D app applications. For total time, the iPhone XS Max made it in one minute, 42.5 seconds, while the Note 9 managed two minutes and 33.9 seconds. So to wrap this all up and put a nice bow on it, the iPhone XS Max really shows off its raw power in the Geekbench score, as well as its overall speed test time. It really outperforms the Note 9, especially in heavy 3D application load times, and that's especially true because of its single core performance. But the interesting thing is, if you tend to not play a lot of games or do a lot of heavy lifting on your phone, then the Note 9 actually might be speedier depending on what task you're doing. Overall, both of these phones are fantastic performers in day-to-day -day use, but when it comes to heavy 3D applications and gaming, the iPhone XS Max really shines. That's it for this episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon, out.